So here I am at the uh, electro uh, industrial docks. And I was originally going to make it further out, but it just took way too long to swim out. Even at this distance, it takes quite a while. It's always good enough. I mean, people are going to be getting shot at as they're going up. Um, so this is my uh, PVP server. Uh, Tropic Thunder PVP. It's still under testing. It's going to be open very soon. It's going to be 100% uh, no rules. And uh, so here's the the underground bunker. I've decided to put it underneath an oil rig. Um, it's got punch card access, uh, which can only be found in tier 4 and contaminated areas. And I've made it spawn loot. I didn't put JSON loot, meaning it's not guaranteed loot that's there after every reset. Um, I've taken some files over from the Livonia map group uh, Proto and put it into my Trenaris file. And uh, changed the types so that there's lots of loot spawning in the underground. Mostly the green gear. So on this server, actually on both my servers, it's... Uh, the green gear is spawns in the underground bunker, but also shares usage with military. Um, so it goes back and forth from those two uh, usages. And then the deleted black gear, which is like the spray painted black guns. And, and some select black gear like black tack jacket, uh, assault bag, Alice bag. I, I, that's what, it's called the Alice bag in the types. I get the names mixed up. But anyway, the black variant is at police, also shared with military. Green variants are underground military. Um, and the regular stuff has been split between contaminated and military. So the server is not very boosted. But as you can see, the bunker sure has a lot of loot. Um, this is my first time going through so um, what I've noticed is the loot it can be a little funny when you first add it to your server through the map group uh, position um, when you first spawn it in spawn in your building with uh, loot uh, loot spawns all over uh, it, it seems like it spawns a lot of loot right off the bat and it takes a little bit of time for the loot to balance out after a couple cycles, it should be all right. So I'll do another walkthrough um, once the loot balances out, and we'll see what's spawning down here. See a lot of Colts for some reason, but it's just it's going to spawn uh, military stuff in the bunker areas. It should spawn hospital stuff in the hospital areas, and uh, you know, and so on. But it's all custom. I made it like a maze oh here's the upstairs so there's two entrances both you need a punch card to get in and there's two stairs to get to the second floor and then there's also uh two stairs or two exits rather to get up to the oil rig platform so i'm just looting around here i'm just gonna give you guys a an idea of what what the loot is like because i know on official in on most servers, like when my bunker first started, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff down there except for the guaranteed items that you would um, get. So I get lost a few times and end up circling back. I mean, this, this is my first time going in here. It's, it's laid out very different from the Livonia bunker. There's no water. It's, uh, I mean, you got to get, there is water. You got to swim to get here, but there's no uh, reservoir to drop into the sewers uh, but I think this bunker is a lot bigger and there's more I put more ammo rooms and more laboratories and stuff like that but this server is uh, at the moment like I got the PVE server which is Livonia um, which is 100% PVP no um, no killing at all and lots of rules to, to follow but this one here is going to be 100% PVP and uh, no rules at all. Uh, 
uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, uh, I just didn't want to do zones and different things because then you end up having to police and, you know, ban people who are killing on uh, in the wrong zones or not not obeying the right thing. And you know what? It's just a hassle. And I think just going one or the other for me is, is the way to go. I think there's a lot of servers out there that have zones and they have uh, teams and ways of dealing with it. But for me, I've I made these servers to play on. So uh, I don't really want to spend my whole time going after people who are disobeying the rules. Uh, so the idea here is like people uh, generally they can make their own rules in their own zones. If you could block off a town, man it, and then create laws that people have to obey then that's what people can do um my, what i'm going to be doing is i'm just surviving and i'm actually going to try to approach people to talk to them to tell them about the discord you know tell them about the youtube and uh get them using the the economy and teach them how to spawn things in and just just get the server busy i know there's a lot of uh uh, servers out there with admins who use people as fodder to you know to kill them or base raid them and just a lot of corruption all around and it kind of comes with the game but I mean I started the PVE server to avoid that stuff and I don't know I've I've made some friends and and honestly it's all it's a pretty big hassle running a PVE server ended up keep dealing with just as much uh, drama and base rating and all that stuff, just like I would if I was on an official. And, you know, I'm not complaining. It's what, it's kind of what I signed up for. But this one, I just want no rules. I just want people to uh, just play or don't, you know. And there's nothing to complain about. There's no uh, borders to hide behind. No rules to tiptoe around. And it's the complete opposite from the from the other server. I mean, what's kind of cool is you can go to the Livonia server and make friends, build a team, uh, chill out, learn the mechanics of the game, get used to uh, all the guns, and uh, and then come over to this server or maybe another server and do some PvP with your friends. I prefer you come to this server, especially if you're meeting all your friends online, but. Uh, it is what it is. There's there's a lot of servers out there to choose from, uh, but this one's gonna be, you know, full PVP. This bunker is set up for. See here's a here's a green SKS. All the green uh, rifles should be down here. So the the loot is uh. It's not very boosted, but all the deleted items have been added. Like, some things have been reduced from official, but then with all the added um, items from the deleted files, um, it kind of works out to be a little boosted. Especially with the guns and ammo, guns and magazines, and uh, gun attachments. But like I was saying, uh, this oil rig is built for PvP. There's no rules. Anybody can build here, base build. Um, you can snipe people, you can block the doors, um, the, the platform on top is built for PvP, I mean, you can snipe, uh, people from far away, so, this is gonna be the central, uh, battle, battle point, I think, one of the points of interest, um, you know, after the, after the airfield and stuff, because people are gonna have to get to the tier 4 areas to get the punch card and then come back so I think it's going to be fun a lot of ammo a lot of bullets I, mean, I think there's going to be everything you need to survive within the bunker so uh, if you and your friends can take it over board it up and uh, you know see how long you can keep it I think it's going to be really fun I may take it over first and I still I'm not too sure We'll see what happens. At the moment, I want to leave it open so people can explore it. A lot of tracer and armor-piercing rounds and 
Uh, all the top tier stuff is down here, as well as like common loot. Just common loot should be everywhere. Right now, it's really boosted, but it, it'll be interesting to see what happens after after the loot cycles a few times. More ammo wounds. There's no pat pattern, and it's not like symmetrical. The stairs are kind of uh, they're random, so you, it'll take a minute to get used to where you're at. Um, there's two floors. The second floor is a little more complex than the first one. Um, but I set it up with two two entrances on every level for you know just to make it more of a challenge to uh, not only raid but to you know to defend as well so you can be attacked from two different ways if there's only one choke point i think it would kind of take away some of the fun but uh i'm pretty impressed how this turned out is better than i thought i think i'm going to release like a, a little behind the scenes uh thing but for the editing because it's a really hard project to do. Out of all the things I've done by far, this is like, it's the hardest. And I, I don't know if there's a lot out there right now. I think I heard of somebody actually getting an underground bunker on there. So here, look, I'm coming out. This is to the oil rig platform. The first thing you see is a medical tent here. Um, but that's why I built it on the oil rig is so that you at least got the feel that it's underground when you pop up and it and it works. There's no way to get to the top platform. Uh, there's only the bunker entrances. And so it kind of has that underground feel. But I was, uh, like I was saying, I, someone in the Facebook group, I think they were posting that they actually have a working underground one with the water and everything. I'm not so sure about that. I uh, I have to look into it, but at the moment I'm happy with this. Uh, I was hoping to make a actual underground so I could hide it, but um, I like the way this idea turned out. People can see it on the coast. You know, they might come up to it and then they realize they gotta go find a punch card. And I think it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a fun place for PvP. So I'm going to put the Discord in the description. If you're on the PvE server, you'll be on the whitelist already. Right now it's just uh, it's just PvE essentially because we're just testing it out. So nobody's killing yet. Just trying to get the loot uh, and all the files sorted out. But if you want to join either... Either server, I'm going to put both uh, discords in the description. Like I said, one server, lots of rules, PvE. Um, another server, no rules, all PvP. Which is this one here, the Trenaris servers, the PvP one. Um, so I'm going to put them in the, in the description. And you can join the discord if you want to just check it out. Uh, if you want early access, you just got to agree to the rules. Um... No PvP until the whitelist is open and the server is done testing. And then it's no rules. It doesn't mean you have to kill, but there is zero rules. Meaning, you know, you can make friends or you can make enemies. It'll be up to you. Uh, we got kill feed, um, economy, um, a shop that delivers right to you. You got to be on Discord for it to work. So I'm going to put that stuff in here and I'm going to keep posting more information as we're getting ready to release the server so uh um yeah join the discord check that out and look for the server to open up soon